for all humans plants and animals and other than its uses by living organisms there are many activities that are directly or indirectly dependent on water as it is the second necessity for life after oxygen but unfortunately all what our country is facing these days is the scarcity of water everywhere that is lack of sufficient water or most of the times no access to safe drinking water supply at all here is what people say लेकिन क्या करे द वॉटर हैज डिसअपेयर एक्चुअली सडनली एंड इट इज नॉट दन विलेज और दू विलेज इट इज एंटायर कम्युनिटी At present, some 1.1 billion people worldwide lack access of water. It has been predicted that by year 2025, two-thirds of the world population may face water shortages. Punjab, the land of five rivers, has now become the land of five drying rivers. According to a study in year 2017 almost whole of the state was facing groundwater depletion due to its over exploitation as it can be seen in the red area marked In 1985 the groundwater level in Punjab was not more than 10 meters below the earth surface which by 2017 became 20 meters and as predicted by 2035 it would become more than 40 meters below the earth surface River pollution is a global problem and not peculiar to India However, rising pollution of rivers in India is a significant concern for Indian government and population. Unfortunately, a large number of rivers and basins in India are victims of pollution. The contaminated river water has now become a major cause of diseases including cholera, typhoid, and variety of skin afflictions and excessive use of pesticides has become a major reason of cancer let's have a look at punjab's cancer train the abohar jodhpur express that patients climb on to from batinda to bikaner for cheaper cancer treatment no ac coach only sleeper class first come first serve Batinda is in Punjab's Malwa region where a lot of chemicals are indiscriminately used for pest control. These chemicals are considered responsible for cancer among people there. Of the 15 pesticides used, at least 7 pesticides are considered cancer causing by the US Environment Protection Agency because it affects the drinking water. Now let's discuss about the government initiatives and work done by various NGOs to cure water pollution. Let's have a look towards National River Conservation Plan that came into existence in 1985 to reduce the pollution loads in rivers through the implementation of pollution abatement. The works taken up under NRCP include interception and diversion works that is laying of sewerage systems to capture raw sewage flowing into the rivers through open drains and diverting them for treatment 
second setting of stps for treating diverted sewage and constructing low cost sanitation toilets to prevent open defecations on river banks next we have bioremediation which is initiated by government of delhi after the ludhiana's buddha nala case which involves the use of vegetation to create an artificial wetland ecosystem for sewage treatment next is the namami gange program which is an integrated conservation mission approved as a flagship program in june 2014 for effective abatement of pollution and conservation and rejuvenation of national river ganga many ngos like watershed organization swadesh foundation navjyoti india foundation and many more are making their selfless efforts and contribution in preventing water contamination they are also providing sanitation and clean water services in villages where it is difficult to find water or existing water is polluted CFIR India too has served to minimize these effects and have significantly contributed to several cost effective methods and equipments that will provide safe drinking water both in rural and urban areas. It has also developed large capacity reverse osmosis and simple technologies such as ceramic membrane and clay based filters to serve to industrial installations and needy capacity communities CSIR has also developed a needy zar water filter and animal power desalination plant and technologies such as ion exchange raising technology in order to secure water resources It's obvious that the whole world needs water to survive therefore it's our responsibility to save water and protect the planet here is a small message for seen that we should work in synchronization with nature now let's have discussions on various possible solutions to these water problems <laughs>